Okay, this is the um, video for the um, L&H air oil panel that we've designed with Horner. Um, this is the control screen that you would normally see when the system is uh, up and running. Uh, I'm just going to kind of go through all the different features. If you notice here, you do have a system running and a power on. You need to push this on here, and this will turn everything on and get everything ready to go. The lube type can be time-based or external input, meaning that you need to wire it in from a PLC to tell it to, to run. To uh, get the system to run, you need to tell it to run a pump. So you can start a pump, you can only start one. And when you turn it on here and you go to control, you'll see the system running light is on. We're gonna go back to that screen and turn the pump off. We have a barrel fill mode. We can actually look at the barrel level and if it's in low, then in auto it would fill into a high warning. If it was in auto, then what we would do is barrel level going to low and low shut off. And then you can uh, fill it manu or manually someplace else. If it does not have auto fill on the sumo pump or on the, um, on the air oil system, then you would go in and, and take the fault and, and fill it yourself. We do have a pressure filter okay on here, meaning that we are monitoring high pressure on the, uh, on the filters. Um, we're going to go to, this is the screen that basically operates everything. We can tell it to run every 330 minutes, every, uh, you can see that the value changes and it will start counting down. It's not counting down because we do not have a motor on. So if we were to go back, start a motor, it's in time mode, the system is running and now it is counting down. All these variables right here, such as the pressure switch fault check, meaning that once the system turns on, it has 240 seconds before you see the end of line pressure switches or the transducers before it's gonna fault. We also have a dwell, meaning that after we've hit the end of line pressure switch or transducer, and this has gone green, telling you that you've hit the pressure that you wanted to see, then uh, you have 20 seconds of letting it set and then it will flip. Uh, once we take it out of the auto system, you'll see that the system running light turns off because the system will not run unless you're in the control screen here. Um, we're going to go to the uh, system setup screen here. This is where the screen has some information on zones that are enabled. So the block sensor is for the ultra sensor that is on the dual line. The flow sensor is the option of the effector switch that you may or may not be installing. Here we have uh, our set points for line one and two, so if we want to hit uh, 1500 PSI to actuate the pressure transducer, then we would set these to 1500 and it's all set. You also set your air high point and your air low point, and this is giving you the readout of where it's at right now. We go out of this screen, you also have the manual control screen where you can turn pumps on and off. You can turn the pump on. You can't turn two pumps on at the same time. You can turn pump one on. I can flip line one's end of line or uh, reversing valve. And we can actually also watch the different zones fire. Now I'm just pushing a button to simulate, but obviously with line one on, the light might be up. And then when we flipped it to go to line two, the light would turn off. Um, the flow sensor is the same thing. And here's the screen here that says off and on. We can fault reset anything here. This is a manual screen. This is not where you're gonna normally run the system. So we come back out. We're gonna go to the main screen. We're gonna turn the pump one on. We're gonna go to the control screen. The system green light comes on and the pump motor is running because we, we have a filter on there all the time. And then we just flip the reversing valve. So pump motor stays on all the time. So we run over the filter and then we can uh, um, uh, monitor the inline pressure switch. The pumps running over the relief, it's going over filter or polishing the oil. If we want a different option that way, we can change that, but um, that's where it sits right now. We do have some help screens here that tells you what's going on. Um, and you have your fault resets and everything right here through the main screen. This is a screen that you're gonna wanna look at the most. So uh, this is the air oil system that it sits right now.